Hey, good evening, family. Welcome back. Yeah, I wanted to make a video, a uh, short, I call it Tai Chi Flow. And um, I was thinking about some students that's training with me. I want to see you add more flow into your movement. You know, you're starting to understand what you're doing with your form. You're starting to remember the sequence. So now we want to add more Tai Chi into our Tai Chi. We want to make it more Tai Chi-ish now, not so, not so robotic. Not so much uh, stopping and going, but more flow, okay? So we're going to work with one very important posture today, important to our training, Temple Tai Chi. I don't know about other sets or other systems, family names, okay? So this one is called um, Raise Hand Stance. Raise Hand Stance. Like to raise your hands. Yeah, so there's a few important details that you should pay important pay really good attention to because when you think of the details and when you involve your imagination which we will do you know they say the yi the yi the y i leads the chi right so our mind will help lead the energy so we use our mind to do certain things inside of our form and then we can lead the energy throughout our body okay so we're going to get into it right now and just have fun with it, and slowly but surely, over time, you get better at it, all right? And just keep coming back to the video. It'll be here on our, our YouTube page. Thank you for subscribing, and if you have not subscribed, do us a big favor. Subscribe, help us continue to spread the Tai Chi, and we're doing our best to share all that we can in regards to Temple Tai Chi and our understanding of what Tai Chi is, okay? So really appreciate it. Uh, just click on that subscribe bell, and let's get right into it. So here we are. We're standing with our feet about shoulders width apart, not too wide, not outside your shoulders, like inside the shoulder. We're going to start off with both hands on the side, like so, just in a normal stance, with the arm opening the armpit, Tai Chi stance. Tip of the chin is in, crown point is up. Tip of the tailbone descended straight down. It helps elongate our spinal column, okay? So feel your tailbone going down. The only way I know to feel that is to be relaxed inside of your pelvis, hips, and waist. So feel into your body. Relax your feet as they rest on the surface of the earth. Spread your toes slightly. Spaces in between your toes as well as your hands should always be slightly open, okay? Remember, Tai Chi is about feeling. We have to feel ourselves in order to feel others. So here we are. Take a few breaths in. Remember, breath in, the body will rise up. Exhale, the body will sink down. On the next breath in, follow my hand. We inhale, the hands are coming up. Right in front of our Dantian, not touching, but almost touching. On the exhale, we sink down. The hands begin to come down. The inside of the leg. Inhale, rising up. This is called preparation form. So rising and falling. The tips of my elbows, the very tips, extend out infinitely on my left and right side. Infinitely. Okay? The tips of my fingers, fingertips, energetically extend into the earth as deep as I wish, and then I retract those fingertips back into Dantian. So I have it going in, and I have it coming out here. I have it coming in and out here. Okay, the chest. This is a breath in. This is a breath out. This is a breath in. This is a breath out. Harmonize it with your movement when you come back and review the video. Remember, inhale upward. Now we will exhale and we will shift towards our left side. Becoming 100% weighted on my left leg. My right leg is empty and free to move. I pivot from the ball of my foot, turning my entire right leg, placing my heel exactly where my toe was. Did you hear that? Exact space. It's 
Stay there, family. Stay right there. Exact space. Eventually, you won't have to look. You'll just feel. You'll know it's right. When you place it, don't change your body weight. Your body weight stays on this leg, okay? Now, the knee is softly bent. Don't straighten your knee. Place this foot with no weight. Now, we want to sink our body on this leg only. Only on this leg. Sink down, tailbone down, crown point up. This left hand begins to descend. Right hand stays right in front of my belly button. As if I'm placing my left hand into the earth, driving my fingertips into the earth energetically. Relax, pelvis, hips, and dantian. Relax. Now I'm 100% weighted on my right side. Left foot steps out. Hands attaching. Four. Backwards. Forwards. And back. Here we are. Watch my back foot. My back foot straightens. Look down and make sure your back foot's straight. Sometimes we think it's straight and it's not. Take a look at it. It's straight? Okay, good. Let's, let's proceed. Shift your weight into your rear foot. Now pay attention to this step. This is a big step back to the original position, but a little wider. Right? It's on the same line horizontally going across, but a little wider out. Heel touches ground first, and it's angled on a 45-degree angle. No longer straight like in the beginning. Angled now. Because now, as we shift over, changing from right leg to left leg, this leg now steps forward. Empty. It just goes. Now we change sides. This is called change doors. So this is the footwork to change from having my right hand forward to, now check this out, family. Back foot has to change because I need to step back. Stepping wide, remember, same line horizontally. My heels are still in the same line. My toes are on a 45 degree line. And now I take my weight, take it horizontally into the other side. Allows me to lift this other foot, change, closing the space a little bit coming in. Notice that. Coming in, heel first. My weight remains on the rear leg, sinking down. Now as my foot begins to flatten, my torso turns, straightens back towards the front. The hands are here now. Follow me through a flow. So I took you through, took you through preparation. Shifting over, coming into, sinking. Hands attaching, single hands attaching. We went in here, you can shift forward and backwards with this. You can turn, right? You should do all of these things with this. Turn different directions. Do it with yourself and with a partner. And then we practice this very important step. Remember this one, back foot has to change. Straight as an arrow. Both feet are straight at this point. Both feet are straight at this point. Right? Now, this foot comes back. Remember, when it comes back, heels are in the same line, but this foot is on an angle, 45 degrees. Shift your hips from right to left, straight across, horizontal line. 
This foot now closes this gap a little bit, but it also goes forward. No weight, no weight. Only the leg and foot goes forward. This foot straight, heel first. Sit down on the back leg first. As this foot flattens in the front, you're coming forward with this embrace. We're gonna put it all together now, make a flow out of it. Follow me, family. We're here now. This is a condensing, squeezing of the ball. My elbow, these are directly across from each other. Directly across from each other. Tai Chi ball here. There's also a big Tai Chi ball here connected with the universe. We're condensing and squeezing these. Opening. Closing, okay? Check it out. So we're here, front leg up, right? Breathe a couple times with me, family. Inhale. Exhale, rise, sink. Elbows, shoulders, down. Inhale, shoulders down. Exhale, rise. Inhale, rise. Do your best to keep the back foot as flat as possible. When it begins to come up, stop. Don't go any deeper. So my foot wants to come up right now. So I stop right there. Inhale, rise. Now we're gonna flow right through now. Squeeze, condense. And now turn my back foot. Look, no weight on it. Turn, this all turns. Condensing, coiling into myself, pointing down, needle at sea bottom. Looking straight at the opponent, the partner. Shifting back, pushing back off of my front foot, ball of the foot. Sucking into my Dantian right here, drawing in. So going from this to this to this into Dantian. Stepping out wide, sinking down here. I'm heavy. Got to get this right. Just got to be heavy. And then remember, shift over from left to right. From left to right. Heavy here which allows you to continue going down, 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 stepping forward, circling out behind yourself. This is like a big embrace. Let me show you here. This is round, you see that? See how round the shape is here? But it goes from this into this. This front hand, tips of the finger, is on a horizontal line, tip of my finger, tip of my Nose. This arm is also on a 45 degree degree slant in. Not straight, but a slant in and a slight rotation of palm out. This one, feeling Tai Chi ball straight across. And then we're going to breathe. Inhale, exhale, couple breaths. You can stay here as long as you like when you do your thing. But I say get a couple breaths here, right? And then inhale. Open, look how I open. See how I open that back foot? Watch. Inhale, back foot opens. Exhale. Needle at C bottom, remember? Point down. Pull in. To Dantian. Same time. Relax. Relax. Concave. Crown point up. Tailbone down into Dantian. Back out. And you can flow with this. Remember, shift horizontally, straight over, from right to left. Embrace the earth energy here with the downward energy. Circle left and right behind yourself. Big circle of movement, concave. Go from the circle as you condense. Remember, the palms change. And get your needle with a sea bottle. Suck it in. Bring it into Dantian. Remember, turn that back foot, right? Back foot has to turn. Pull back in. Step back in. And bring it back in. Let's close up right here. Thank you for coming in, fam. When you do a real intensive training with real deep focus, you shouldn't just jump right out of your practice. Slow down, come back in, and just breathe into a very small space. I say use your imagination breathe into a mustard seed side space inside of your Dantian area. 
If you're not familiar with what the Don Tien is, I say look it up. It's Don Tien. It's uh, D A N T I A N. Don Tien. And there's different Don Tien. We're talking about this lower Don Tien specifically, okay? So do your investigation, look it up. Let's talk about it. Once again, thank you for watching the video. Please share it, like it. Tai Chi 360, Seafood Lester, checking out. Be sure to subscribe. I look forward to sharing another Tai Chi flow with you very, very soon. Today we went over hands attaching and also uh, raise hand stance. So this is the circle. Raise hand stance. Hands attaching was on here and coming here. So there's two different lines. Give you a lot today. Here is raise hand stance. And then the other one was, remember, coming here and here. And we did change doors. We did a lot. Just on that one video. A lot, family. Let's talk about it. Start training this stuff. Let me help you along the way. Temple Tai Chi Fundamentals. Great stuff. Peace.